Hey, welcome back guys, JC here, and this is how you enable the race transponding system in your Seriously Pro Racing Mini flight controller. It's actually a very simple thing to do. You might already have it working, in fact, you just don't know it because of the IR LEDs. Uh, but anyway, the first thing you want to do is, if you look on the back side, you'll see where it says uh, transponder enable. And in between those two words, you'll see two triangles. What you want to do is take a little bit of solder and solder those two triangles together, which will bridge them together, which will enable your race transponding system. If these triangles are not bridged together, then your addressable LED pins will be activated and uh, they will work, but the IR LEDs will not work. Once you bridge them, then the IR LEDs will work, but your addressable LEDs will not work. So it's one or the other, you, you can't have both. Now, as far as wiring these into the flight controller, uh, if you look at these pins here, uh, where I've soldered these on, you will see IR negative and IR positive. The negative is closer to the center, positive is on the outside. As far as the legs of your LEDs, this tells you which one is positive and negative. The longer leg is always positive, the shorter leg is always negative. So you can see here I have both negatives towards the center and both positives on the outside. I would also recommend only placing them in uh, a little ways. That way you can reach them over the edge of the board and lay them out flat. You can mount these however you want, uh, just my recommendation is uh, you want these to be somewhere where the race transponding system or the timing system at the track that you're racing at can see the LEDs. So the LEDs have to be facing towards the timing system. Otherwise, uh, the timing system will not see the sequence of lights or the code being sent from these IR LEDs. So I would say you probably want to mount the flight controller with either this being the front or this being the front, uh, and then mount your LEDs this way. So no matter which side the timing system is on the track, whether it's on the left side of the track or the right side of the track, either way, um, you'll be good. You'll have one LED facing it, no matter which side it's on. If you were to mount the flight controller like this, with this being the front or this being the front, then the LEDs would be facing forward and to the rear, and the timing system more than likely won't see that sequence of lights. So now if we uh, plug in a USB cable and go into beta flight or clean flight, either one works. What you want to do is go to configuration, scroll down, and enable the transponder, and then make sure you save and reboot. After that, you can come to the race transponder tab. Now you should already have a code here. I know whenever you purchase this flight controller it comes with this little sticker with a QR code that you can scan with your cell phone and then it has another uh, sequence of numbers here that says transponder code but this is the code that you actually use once you go to that website whenever you scan this code. And this is not what you enter in into beta flight or clean flight. Uh, if you do it's not going to work. But like I said, the code should already be there. And that's it. So you can now disconnect. Now to test it to make sure it's working. Now the thing is, IR LEDs, the human eye can't see them. So if I turn this light off, you don't have to do this. Um, I'm just gonna place some electrical tape over the LEDs to help us see a little bit better. Uh, but like I was saying, the human eye cannot see IR LEDs, but cameras can. So I'm not seeing anything flashing with my eye, but if I face this towards the camera, do you see that very faint bluish flickering? That's actually the uh, code being sent out. It's a sequence of lights that your LED will send, and then the timing system will actually pick up that light. And uh, because it has a very unique code, that tells the timing system who you are. And everyone has a different sequence of flashes. Now if we test the other side, and I would say it's working. And that's basically it. Now uh, the next step is, I would imagine, I've never done this, but scan this QR code with your cell phone and uh, enter in this number. I've never done it, but that would be the last step to this process. So I hope I helped you out. Um, hope you have a better understanding of how it works now. That's going to do it for this one. Yeah, I'll leave some links to my other playlist in the description below so you can check out those videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.